vectors. Now look, gang, I'm going to ask you a question. How fast can you drive on the highways where you are? Right? How fast can you drive? Green's theorem, as in the 3D, yes, should have clarified, but probably better uh, to stick to, yeah, yeah. 65 is the max in US. Legally, uh, I think in the US there's places where you can go 80 as well, no? Just for uh, funsies. Ah, triple integral for funsies. 100 kilometers per hour, yeah. Right? Or 110 kilometers per hour. Here in Germany, unlimited indeed. The Autobahn, Lurking Loris, 120 kilometers on the on the biggest ones. Cool. I can drive pretty fast. Monte says, 70 miles per hour. Uh, divide 70 miles per hour. No, we have 70 in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's places you can go 80 in this U.S. If I remember correctly. So that is a distance. That is a scalar quantity. How fast you can drive, right? Now, if you put a direction to that, that becomes a vector. Okay. So if you say I can travel 70 kilometers, let's make it, what do you guys want to do? Kilometers? The whole world does kilometers. The US does miles, but the majority of my audience in general is, is, is American. So I think it's 120 in Ireland. By the way, can you do this kind of math? Da, 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 da because it looks crazy yeah for sure that's just the distribution should we do that one speedy gonzalez style let's do no, well, let's do vectors first and then we do that one right so take a look at this thing let's do let's do simple 100 kilometers per hour let's say you can go 100 kilometers per hour right that's a scalar quantity okay montana is 80 now montana is 80 cool yeah Montana I've driven through Montana nice try used to be reasonable and prudent so this is scalar scalar right which means there is no direction to it but if I go 100 okay kilometers per hour north oops north this is a vector quantity this is a vector because it has direction okay you're a good guy man place <laughs> thanks i try to be right so that's a, as soon as you add direction to force to motion to anything you end up with a vector right so there are two main types of vectors we look at one is motion the other one is forces right and when you're adding vectors together so for example let's assume we had this we had let's say we had 100 plus 30 plus 80 minus 60 actually that's not the add the minus let's keep it simple this yeah. if you're adding these together then this is 120 uh, sorry 120 210 right that's 110 plus 100 is 210 so that's 210 right if this is apples then it's 210 apples if it's kilometers then it's 210 kilometers right make sense okay now if these things had direction associated with them it becomes a vector you can't just add it up that way for example let's assume this was 100 north plus 30 northwest plus 80 uh, east southeast southeast south east let's say we wanted to do this right you can't just add the numbers because the way this looks is this take a look 
Oh, algebra in college. I needed a waiver for it. I think my eyes just went across. Coach, hilarious. <laughs> so take a look at this thing. Let's say we have 100 north. So 100 north would be here. Right? Let's assume that's 100 north. And then we have 30 northwest. Here, let me draw this better. We'll tag on to it, right? 30 northwest. So you went 100 north, 100 north, and then went 30 northwest. So let's assume that's 45 degrees, right? So we went 30 northwest. Let's make the vectors proportional. If that's 100, right? Then a third of that would be 30. So 30 northwest, and then southeast. Let's go southwest. So that way we can draw it properly. Southwest. Okay. There's south and then west. And then you went this way. 80 this way. 80 southwest. Right? This is where you end up. You start off here. This is where you end up. If you're going to add all those together, the total of those is going to be from there to there. That's what it adds up to, right? So this plus this plus this equals this. Right? So because this is a vector, there is a magnitude involved here. Magnitude, magnitude plus direction. Okay, so it's got magnitude plus a direction. How do we figure this out? Looks complicated. If you have a ruler and a protractor, you could do it really accurately. Make centimeters represent, well, that would be a meter. Like make millimeters be one unit, right? And then draw it and have protractors going on and stuff like that. Well, to do this, algebraically we need to break this down into its components and when it comes to components we're talking about the cartesian coordinate system x and y axes x and y axes why is that the case because if you're adding a vector that's going exactly in the same direction as another vector then you can just add them straight up as if they were scalars because they're acting in the same plane, right? So if you had this, you had 100 north plus 30 north plus 80 north, then that would be 210 north. It's the same unit, right? It's just like 100 apples plus 30 apples plus 80 apples goes 210 apples. 100 north, 30 north plus 80 north is 210 north, right? But if they're all going in different directions, then what we need to do, we need to break them up into components, right? Let's do one. Let's do one. That's the intro to the vectors, right? And the best way to appreciate how this works, we need to do an example. And you need trigonometry, Sokotoa, to be able to do this. Now watch. We're gonna draw this. Okay. Now we're gonna draw this. I need to, I need, let's see what kind of pens we got here. Let's see what we got. Oop. I got a lot of pens out here right now. Hopefully I'm not gonna drop them to make nasty noises. Oh, look at this, I got a ruler. Let's make a Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, let's make it. No, let's make it up here. Okay, let's see. How's that coming out? Not bad. I wish they made dry erase pens that lasted longer. These things die off so fast.
So once we've got our Cartesian coordinate system, let's add what we had. Take a look. We had something that was going 100. So these are the measurements we have, right? We had, where should we put this? We'll just put it here. 100 north. We had 30 north west. And then we had 80 uh, southwest. Southwest, right? So let's do the 100 north first. So 100 north, lam x, exit x. Excitex, lam excitex. Hello, what if you change the place of vectors in the sum? What if you change the place of vectors in the sum? Uh, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't make a difference. Okay. You'll see. Take a look at this. So we're going to break this thing down into its components, right? So let's put them all originating from the zero. So we're going to go 100 north is here. So let's assume this is 100 north. Okay. So that's going to be 100. The next one is 30 southwest. Uh, sorry, northwest, right? 30 northwest is going from here. That's northwest, like this. Okay. Let's make the 100 a little bit bigger. That way we can do the work 100 and this is 30 this way okay and then the other one is 80 southwest southwest and 80 would be about this far this far so we're going to come here okay so this is going to be 80 now, if I say northwest, I'm going to assume it's 45 degrees. So let's assume this is northwest means 45 degrees. Okay, that means this angle here is 45 degrees. Five degrees. Okay. MC Mike. Okay, makes sense now since the triples. Uh, relate to volume yeah 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 for sure for sure and you because I'm pretty sure you're doing uh, integration you're trying to figure out the volumes of things right maybe MC Mike and again southwest will assume this is 45 degrees now remember this could be any degree if you want here let's make it let's make this here we'll redraw this let's assume it's this actually let's do it this way that way and usually usually you want to do your measurement to the x-axis the angle so let's assume this would be southwest if I say southwest 60 then this is 30 okay because this part would be 60 south 60 degrees west there's different ways of saying this right I'm just writing it like this I'm explaining to you there's different uh, ways to represent this I think they go south 60 west but I don't want to use uh, structure of saying things without it being accurate right I'm not gonna assume this is the way they write it everywhere okay so right now because that's 60 I'm gonna keep that as 30 okay because I want to just do everything relative to the x-axis okay and this was a hundred remember this was 100 Right. This was 100. This was 100. And this was 80. Right. So what you want to do is put them in the same direction to be able to add them. Right. Because again, if this was 80 going down, then the total sum would be 100 minus 80 because it's going in the opposite direction. Right. So what we end up doing is we take each one of these vectors and broken break them into x y components so take let's take the 30 let's do it here All right let's take this guy Th 
30 and we're going to break it down into its components in the x direction and the y direction okay so if that's 45 degrees 45 degrees okay so what we want to do now is figure out what this is and figure out what this is right but we're also going to do this with this so i'm going to call this what should we call this x1 and y1 okay actually let's call them x2 and y2 x2 and y2 because the 100 is really our first vector okay so if we're going to do this we need trigonometry right so if we're going to use trigonometry we're going to use let's see how dark this one is okay so we're going to go if you remember sokotoa so ka toa sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse cos of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse tan of an angle is opposite over adjacent and we usually just end up actually it comes out not too bright i'm going to use black still you're basically going to use sine and cosine because you're looking for x and y so check this out if you're going to use that let's use let's try to figure out what x is okay if you're going to look for this that's adjacent to 45 degrees so you're going to use this so you're going to go cos of 45 is equal to adjacent which is x 2 over 30. so x 2 is going to be equal to cross multiply up 30 cos of 45. okay if you want to find out the y component you're going to go sine of 45 is equal to y2 over 30 cross multiply so y2 is equal to 30 cos of 45. Okay. let me highlight these because these are the ones we're going to use right right here and right here so we just broke this down oops this down into its component here and here that's what their links are right let's do the same for the 80. so 80 goes down and here is the x component goes in this direction and the y component goes in this direction so this is going to be 80 and this is 30 degrees right and this is x3 and y3 now if you want to keep track of your variables you could call this x80 and y80 referring to the 80 uh, magnitude uh, vector and you could call this x30 and y30 i'm just calling them two and three just because it's simple right now we don't have too many variables that we want to keep track of well if you use sokotoi again then you have cos of 30 is equal to x3 adjacent over hypotenuse right so x3 is equal to 80 cos of 30 and sine of 30 if you're going to use the y is going to be y3 over 80 so y3 is going to be equal to what are we um, 80 sine of 30. Okay. i hope that's clear i'm sort of going through this i'm assuming you know trigonometry in this I'm assuming you know trigonometry. Now take a look at this thing. Okay, so we have the x part of this guy, right? We have the x part of this guy too now, 
right there we got the y part of this guy and we got the y part of this guy now and we have the x part of the 100 because there is no x part it's just going straight up so the y part of 100 is 100 so if we're going to add up these guys right if we're going to go this plus this plus this right then we have to add the exponent uh, the components right so the x part x part is going to be x total let's call it x total let's see if we're gonna should i do this in red let's do this in red red is coming out okay x total x total is going to be the x part of number one so x part of number one plus the x part of number two which is right here x2 plus the x part of the 80 right well the x part of number one is zero plus because it's not moving in the x direction it's only moving straight up in the y direction x part of number two is this guy 30 cos 45 plus the x part of the third part which is 80 plus 80 cos 30. and what you can do is you can punch that into your calculator now if you know your special triangles 30 no, not 30. actually we got to do 30 anyway so 45 90 45 1 1 root 2 and then the 30 triangle is 30 60 90 1 squared of 3 and 2 so cos of 45 cos of 45 is 1 over root 2 okay so this is going to be 30 times 1 over root 2 oops square root of 2 plus 80 times what's cos of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2 root 3 over 2 so this is going to be equal to 30 over root 2 plus 2 goes into 80 40 times 40 square root of 3 that's the x part of the total component okay now you wouldn't need to do it this way you would just punch into your calculator right so let me move my pens here let me grab these ones Maybe these ones are going to be a little bit better so let's punch this in because we need the numbers let's do this uh what do we got uh, i'm just going to punch these in 30 cos 45 30 times um, 45 trig cos equals so this part is uh, 21 21 21.21 plus um uh, 80 cos 30 80 times 30 trig cos equals 69.28 69.28 which equals and you add these guys up plus 21.21 21.21 is equal to 90.49 90.49 four nine that's the x direction okay which makes sense take a look at this thing this part added to this part will make it go this far right that's what really we're doing okay does that make sense 21.21 is this length here 69.28 is this length here and this one contributes zero in the y direction in the x direction so if you add this and this you get this 90.49 okay now let's do the y part okay 
if we do the y part i'm going to erase this part okay let's do the y part y total y total is equal to y1 total plus y2 oops 2 total plus y3 total well y1 is 100 it's just straight up right 100 okay plus y2 is 30 cos 45 30 cos 45 plus y3 is 80 sine 30 80 sine 30 so this becomes I'm just gonna punch all this in in one shot in the calculator because we're limited with space right we're limited with space so we got doo -doo 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 -doo, doo -doo. so what do we got 30 cos 45 30 times uh, 45 trig cos plus uh, 80 sine 30 well, 80 sine of 30 is just 1 over 2, but I'm going to punch it anyway. Plus 80 times 30 second sine equals that, and then plus 100. So plus 100 is going to be 100 and 161 point two one two one. So that's the y direction, right? Which makes sense to a certain degree. Oh, what a mistake, what a mistake. <gasps> look at this, look at this. This is going up. This is going up, but this is going down in vectors, direction matters. So we're not adding 180 sine 30 we're subtracting 30 sine 80 keep this in mind okay so i'm gonna punch this in again right how did i catch my own mistake well i looked at this i said if that's 100 and that's gonna be this much how could we go 168 which would be over here if we're going in this direction right it wouldn't be so let's punch that in this is where people get burned big time so we're gonna go 30 times 45 boop, cos equals 21 it's the same thing as this 21.21 and then we're gonna subtract sine of 30 is opposite over that is 0.5 times uh, 80 which is 40 so we're going to subtract 40 minus 40 we get negative because if you were just doing this and this the direction is down right but then we're going to add 100 we're going to go up so plus 100 plus 100 equals oh 81.21 81.21 81 81.21 cool we have the x and y components right now where are we going to draw this where are we going to draw this which part should i erase because we need more space i can erase i can erase i'm going to take out these guys let's do this slowly i'm going to take out these guys so let's do the components on the original graph. Check this out. We had 90.49. Now keep in mind, I went in this direction, so I called this positive, right? In physics, when you're doing vectors, it's up to you what you wanna call positive, what you wanna call negative. If you're gonna stay with convention, I should have called this direction negative because that would have been positive but I'm keeping track of it. It's the answer that matters, right? How I approach it is really up to me within reason. You can't break the rules of mathematics, but you can define what you mean with whatever variables and directions and stuff, right? 
it's your 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 game you're playing right so this is 90.49 so check this out this was 80 so 90 would be like around here so the total measurement is going to be this way here it's going to be a little bit less than that length if we're going to stay proportional right 90.49 so this is 90.49 and then we've got 81.21 now remember i call this down negative up positive and i subtracted this so i know that's positive so 80.21 is going to be here i'm going to go all the way to here or so right So this is 80.21. So what you really have, you got the legs, the components, the X and the Y of your new vector, right? The total sum of all these three vectors added up. So what you can do is just take this guy and move it here to get a visual or take this guy and move it there. It's going to give you the same thing, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this going up like this. So our total vector is going to look like this. So that's our total vector, right? There's two steps we need to do to finish this. We need to find the magnitude of this and we need to find the angle of this. Well, the magnitude is easy. And the vector is easy. The magnitude is Pythagorean theorem. This is 80.21. 80.21, right? So all we're going to do, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is the total. Total. Okay. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Where should we do this? let's do it over here i'm going to erase these guys okay so pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared a squared plus b squared equals c squared where a is 90.49 squared plus 80.21 squared is equal to c squared the total is c okay we punch this in and if you want to write this out this becomes here 80.21 i'm going to write this out over here we get more space 80.21 so this becomes c squared is equal to i'm just going to punch that in to the calculator what's c squared 90 81.21 squared plus 90.49 squared 90.49 squared equals 14,784 14,784 yep and then to figure out what c is you take the square root of both sides so c is equal to square root of this duhiki square root of this duhiki is 121 121.59 okay so that's the magnitude here total is 121.59 cool we need to find the angle because we're doing vector vectors right we can't just give the scalar quantity because if we say oh the answer is 121.59 in which direction we're talking vectors so if we're going to do vectors you go back to Sokotoa Sokotoa sine cosine and tangent you have this length you have this length you have this length you can use sine cos or tan let's use tan we use sine and cos let's use tan so tan of an angle let's call this theta tan of an angle tan theta is equal to opposite adjacent what opposite adjacent opposite over adjacent right sokotoa opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent 
which is 80.21 over 90.49. Let's figure out what that is, right? 80, boom, 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 boom. 80.21 divided by 90.49. Anyone want to guess what the angle is going to be? Let's see how accurate our drawing is. Check this out. I sometimes do this just for the fun of it. If this is 45 degrees, and if I drew this approximately proportionally, then this angle should be less than 45. So maybe it's around 30. Eight degrees, 40 degrees. Let's check it out. So you get, we get this tan theta is equal to 0 0.0.8864. So theta is equal to tan inverse of this two, Vicky, 0 0.8846. So theta is. Let's do the inverse tan of it. 41.55 degrees. 41.55 degrees. And that's the angle. So this is 41. Oops. 0.55 degrees. Which is pretty good. Not bad. The accuracy was not bad. So your answer to this question would be, the solution to this would be, magnitude would be 121, oh, we should have used blue from the beginning, 121.59. And we would say, if we're going north and south, we could say 41.55 degrees north of west at 41.55 degrees north of west or we could say 121.59 at and figure out what this angle is and you subtract from one uh, you subtract from 90 so oh, minus 90 is 48.44 at Northwest, staying with this convention. Oh, we erased it. Northwest, 48.45. 48.45. Okay. That's vectors. You have to be careful where. You have to be careful in adding, subtracting in your directions. Right? If you're going to call this positive, then everything this way is negative. If you want to call that positive, everything down is negative. We call this positive and we call that positive because we're just working in that direction. Right? I hope that helps. It's been a while since we did vectors and this comes into play in, uh, in physics a lot, a lot, especially in problems involving equilibriums and forces and magnitude and whatnot fun fun that was great good math session good math session gang i saw some follows and stuff uh flying through i didn't i didn't catch the names uh but thank you for the follows thank you for the support gang also multiplication matters too since it's not necessarily cumulative in linear algebra yeah 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 multiplying back it, it it changes a lot i haven't done multiplication of vectors for a while a while i would have to look that stuff up but adding and subtracting vectors a lot bananas and chocolate chips hell yes I hope you have good snacks when you're doing mathematics. Not necessarily bananas and chocolates, but this is really um, needed something sweet. <laughs>